what's up guys so we are now obviously in 2015 i'm sure you didn't need this video to know that but anyways <laughs> a lot of you have been asking me what my most anticipated games of 2015 are, go are going to be and i am going to be making a video about that but uh first before that i've been wanting to talk about the gaming industry in general when it comes to um next generation consoles and old generation consoles so what i'm particularly going to be talking about is cross-gen games now obviously we all have different opinions about this but i'm going to just jump right into it and say that i do not like cross-gen games for those of you that don't know what it means when you say cross-gen, it means a game that is made for the old gen, which is at Xbox 360 and PS3, as well as new next gen, like PS4 and Xbox One. I have a problem with cross-generation, especially if it keeps on going. I understand cross-generation happening at the beginning, like the first few months, a year is is okay, you know, because people don't have money trees in the back in their backyard. I mean, some people do, <laughs> but most of us don't. I saved up for the PS4 way before it was launched because I was like, I know I want it and I know I want to play specific games for it. I started saving up months, almost a year before the PS4 was released. I was tutoring during that time. I was tutoring um, a friend's daughter. So I was like, I'm just gonna take like $10, $20 out of each tutoring um, session, and I'm gonna put it in the bank and save it for the PS4. It took a long time, but since a lot of people don't do that, since people wait until after launch for different reasons, some people could be like, you know what? I wanna wait to see what people think about the console. I wanna see, what console I'm even gonna get, you know, people just need time to think about it. So the PS4 and the Xbox One have pretty much been released for slightly over a year now. Uh, the PS4 was released in November of 2013, so it's been out for a year, which is crazy to think. I was like, damn. The 360 and the PS3, and the PS3 were limited in so much that they, that they could do, and the next gen is not freaking it's not amazing. It's not a freaking PC, obviously, but it is pretty damn powerful in what it could do. And some people may say, oh, well, the games I've played on the PS4 aren't that great. Well, that's exactly the problem. 2015 needs to be the year where the gaming industry, developers, gamers, publishers need to start moving forward. They need to start, gamers need to start investing in new consoles. They need to stop complaining about uh developers focusing on next gen only and being like oh they're just leaving us in the dust yeah it's old technology like really old technology and as much as i'm like okay yeah that 2014 was the year to catch up for gaming even 2015 i was like metal gear solid phantom pain is cross gen i was like are you kidding oh my this game has the potential to be amazing because of the gameplay. I mean, I've, I've had a taste uh, with Z Ground Zeroes, and this one was also cross-gen. And just the taste that I got, I was like, this has a, p a big potential. Like, Phantom Pain's gonna have a really good system. Like, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's got really cool AI and all that. But then you find out that it's cross-gen, and here's the issue. There are different ways this could play out. You get games like Watch Dogs. This was, the Ubisoft said that this game was gonna be the ultimate next generation experience. Was it? Of course not. Far from it. It was later found out that the next generation, I don't know the details of this, but it was later found out that the next generation versions like the PS4, the 360, and the Xbox One, versions of this game was were dumbed down. So the next gen and old gen look pretty much exactly the same. The same. They run exactly the same. So it's like, why the hell did I even get a PS4? Like, really? Did I get a PS4 to play PS3 games? As awesome as that would be, that's not why I bought it. I bought it to play next gen games, not to keep playing the same thing that 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 I left behind. I bought a PS4 to play 
something that looks better, runs better. So it's just, it's stupid that they're making games and they're dumbing them down for the next generation. And, and the, the people from old gen are like, it's not fair. It's not fair that they're making them just next gen. Well, it's not fair to us either. It's not fair to people that have invested money in buying these next generation consoles. And they're still getting experiences from old gen. That's not fair. Because we actually wasted our money on that. So you get the instance where the next generation versions are dumbed down. And then you get the case of like, say, Dragon Age Inquisition. This game is huge. It's a huge RPG. This game was made to take advantage of, and I'm not m mentioning the PC because you guys know obviously that the PC is above uh, next gen. This game is being, it was being made to take advantage of next generation graphics, the PS4, the Xbox One. The size of this game is being made for the 360 and the PS3 as well. Nothing was cut out. Bioware put so much effort and time and they put a lot of resources to get this game to, to work, uh, to function on the 360 and the PS3 for fans because a lot of fans I mean, obviously, all the fans, this is a series that has, has been around before, and this was all old gen. So all those fans, a lot of the fans, were still old gen. So they were going to be missing out on this. So Bioware did everything they could in order for this game to function on old gen. Uh, they worked really hard to make it work. And as much as they did get it to work, it still has a lot of problems. Um, I've heard a lot of people talking about issues with uh, like rendering and stuff like that. The way it looks, uh, a lot of times it just, it, it's choppy. It doesn't run well. Um, some people have said that their experiences is awesome. I guess, I don't know if it has to do how, with how much, how much uh, memory or how much, how much memory your your system it has available to, to to make it run but yeah a lot of people are complaining about it not running well on old gen and the thing that just makes me just want to just scream because i'm like oh my god are you seriously going to compare this a lot of people that have been playing this on the old gen are complain are comparing it to dragon age origins even dragon age 2 and i'm like Dude, there is no comparing this game to the older games. There is, there's no comparison. And they, what they say is, they're like, even Dragon Age Origins ran better. Even Dragon Age 2 ran better. This game is huge. It's like 10 times bigger than Dragon Age Origins and like 30 times bigger than DA2. It's being made on new technology on next gen technology. Yeah, it is being made for the, the previous gen as well so that it could run. But it's it's its focus is next gen and PC. So this huge game in order to make it fit on the 360 or on the PS3, they have to like they have to do a bunch of stuff with the graphics and all that because they didn't want to cut anything out. Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2 was made for the 360 and for the PS3. It was made for those consoles. That was their limit. That was the technology they had. So they were going to take advantage of it. So now new technology, it's being made for next gen and now and this huge package is being tried they're trying to put it into the old 360 they're they're not making it they're it's they're not separate games and by separate games i mean like say this game shadow of mordor this game is cross-gen but you know what makes it different is that this is different it is a different version the ps4 version or the next generation version has the nemesis system the old generation sis, uh, the old generation version doesn't have the nemesis system it was ripped out so that it could function because they're like you know what you guys want to play this game on next gen well you're not going to be able to have the nemesis system there is no way we're going to try to fit that in there so they didn't do that with this. They didn't take anything out. It's the same experience when it comes to the story, when the characters, they're all there. So it's just 
huge and it's hard for me to talk about it because it's like I don't want to sound uh I definitely do not want to sound um like I am not grateful for the hard work that BioWare put into that because it is hard to try to get the size of this game to function on the 3 on the 360 and on the PS3 and because of the hard work they did it's it does function somewhat if they hadn't put that effort and in, in dedication and time into it it wouldn't need uh, it wouldn't have even run it would it would have been it would have been like no sorry bye it's not working and another way of going about it is what ubisoft did unity is a next gen experience it's ps4 xbox one and pc that's it they're like this is a next-gen experience and fans went nuts they were like oh the, it, freaking ubisoft is like abandoning the assassin's creed uh community and the fans and all that they made rogue ps3 and xbox 360 exclusive this is an old gen game new gen this is a good idea now these games aren't freaking amazing they're not great they're not but the idea is good check this out ground zeros this game could have been made exclusive to old gen 360 and ps3 and pc pc is just pc grows with everyone it just freaking evolves and i'll go into that later this could have been made for old gen it, it, no no next gen x aspect nothing it was just old gen it could have been used as a teaser it could have been used as a uh, a way to maybe hook gamers into what's next, into what's coming. You know, it could have made gamers say, "You guys should start investing in a in a new in a new console." You know, in a PS4, in a three, in a, in a, a Xbox One, because Phantom Pain is going to be an exclusive for next gen. You know, a lot of people that have next generation consoles had old generation like i have a 360 i have a ps3 so i have a ps4 now but you know i i could have still played this even even though it wasn't made for next gen because it's like oh yeah cool I, i've got a ps3 i've got a, a 360 already there do i want to stop playing them do i want to just throw them out in, the, in 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 the trash can and be like bye i don't need you anymore no because they were it was good hardware for 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 what it lasted it was good so i'm like yeah dude let's put it to use let's put the 360 to use let's put the th ps3 to use and you know developers could make smaller games exclusive for old gen still that does take a lot of time and and you know it takes some time and some resources and all that to be focusing on a separate game but the game isn't as big it's not as big it's smaller i mean in in the in even smaller when it comes to ground zeros this is not a big game this is bigger than this one but you know it, it's they could focus a little bit on it and be like you know this is um this is like the prequel to 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 this so gamers could be like all right, cool. You know, we're getting pumped. We have something to play while we save up to get this or while we save up to get Phantom Pain. But no, it's like, no, this is cross-gen and Phantom Pain is cross-gen too. You know what's going to happen to Phantom Pain is if Phantom Pain... Now, I don't want to wish it bad luck. I seriously don't. I want Phantom Pain to do good because it looks cool and I want to play Phantom Pain. But here's here's the, 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 the truth about it. If Phantom Pain goes the same route that Watch Dogs did, the 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 next generation uh, versions of Phantom Pain are going to be dumbed down. The, the the graphics are going to be dumbed down and just the, the capacity of the game, the, the capacity, the possible capacity of the gameplay, the mechanics is going to be dumbed down. If a developer wants the the game, the full game and in its entirety, if they want it to be like Ubisoft said that this is going to be a next generation experience, if they want this game to be exactly the same on 360 and on Xbox One or P on PS3 and on PS4, they're going to have to dumb it down on PS4. It's not going to be a next gen experience. It's going to be an old gen experience on a PS4 or on an Xbox One. There's no way to make a game that is technically supposed to be a next-gen experience game, 
you know, being made to to use the full capacity of next gen consoles, there's no way that game will run on old gen unless unless it's a game, unless it's a small game, like say the the Telltale games. Obviously, the, the graphics aren't crazy graphics. It's not a huge game. They're smaller. The the gameplay mechanics are are simple. You know, that th- doesn't mean the game is bad. Obviously not. But unless the game is like that, like a condensed game, it's not this huge graphically, like, oh my god, it's a freaking movie type of game. Or like a huge RPG. They're not going to run the same. I could, uh, uh, guaranteed. It's logical to think that it's not going to run the same. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen with Phantom Pain. I don't know how they're going to make it. I'm only using Metal Gear Solid 5 as an example because of the size of the game, because of the graphics, because of the gameplay and all that, because it's like, it kind of explains exactly what I'm trying to say, that big games like this, just they, they, it, cross-gen is the worst idea you could do, unless, unless the developer is ready to do something like this, which they didn't. You know, it could have been something to to make people want to buy a next a next gen console and not be like okay well don't worry we're going to make it for you guys and we're going to make it for you guys too but the game's going to be dumbed down or your version's going to suck and your version's going to be really cool or they're going to do something like this like they did with Shadow of Mordor you could experience the story of Shadow of Mordor and a good amount of the gameplay on old gen but you're not gonna you're you're not gonna experience the ne- the nemesis system which is the enemy system the the ai uh which is amazing for for the for the next generation consoles um but does it does it take away anything from what the game is trying to tell you what the story is who the character is of course not so i think that's acceptable when it comes to pushing gaming forward. Developers and publishers need to make it clear that old gen and next gen are not the same. Pretty much the developer here is saying, you know what, this is a huge game. It's big. The map is huge. And they've said that it's like, if you thought Black Flag was big, no <laughs> this is big it's full of glitches and all that yeah obviously it's an it's just an assassin's creed game like that doesn't surprise me not not that that excuses them but when you are going to make a game every year this is bound to happen but at least they're they're saying you know well you old gen people this isn't gonna fit in your ps3 just so you know it's not it's not gonna fit there so here you guys could get this one it's a new story it's a new character it, it, it's it could it's it directly ties to this it, it explains a different part of the story you know it, it's still awesome you know you still get to to play a new story it's not it, this is a good idea this is much better to me Because the developer is saying, we're not forgetting about you guys. We're not forgetting about you guys that haven't bought a a, a next-gen console yet. Uh, And then, of course, you know, the uh, developers could also do like like they did with uh, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto V. They're like, okay, well, you know, we're working on the the old-gen version. They released that one first. They had more time to work on the next-gen versions. Came out way later. But it still came out and they added more stuff because, you know, it's more, it could handle more. So that's cool that they added more stuff. It's not the same exact game. It looks better. It has more things, you know, that, that's also cool. That's, that, that works. Every time I've played a game on the PS4, I always stop and think, have I played something like this? And, uh, and I hate it when I think I've played something better on the PS3. A lot of these, I was like, dude, I've played games like this on the PS3. Last of Us was, like, so much better than a lot of these. Beyond Two Souls looked amazing. It's holding the industry back, this type of mentality. 2014, I it, that could slide. Because it was the first year of the gaming consoles. It, a lot of people were still making the transition. A lot of people haven't made the transition yet. But... 
I think they've had enough time to know, to know that this is it. We're done with this whole awkward stage of gaming, of the gaming industry just being like, it's just like stuck in the mud. Gamers need, need to start investing in next generation. You, th- you guys need to. For those of you that haven't, you should. Because all those games on a lot of people's most anticipated um, games of 2015, even on like big sites, big gaming sites, like big media sites, what what games are those? The Witcher 3. How amazing does that look? Why? Because it's being completely focused around the power of the next gen. Even CD Projekt Red said, they were like, we can't. That would have taken way too much time, money, and it just would have taken forever to do that. So they were like, no, Batman Arkham Knight, that is a, a, a next gen exclusive. And it, it looks amazing. I saw it at E3. I saw the demo at E3 and... You could tell that game is next gen. The things that the freaking Batmobile does, it's that's next gen. Is it being made for the 360? No. Forget it. Just no. Bye. Uncharted 4. Old gen? No. No Man's Sky. Old gen? It ain't going to work on old gen. Sorry. Evolve. The order. It, and, and like I said, I mean, some people, it is a lot harder because it's like, well, I don't even have income. Like, let's say in, in the case of someone that's younger, like say they don't have a job or something, um, then that is tough where it's like, well, I don't even have like freaking $10 to put aside. Uh, I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy. Sometimes all I could p- uh, put aside was like $5. It'll take you a long time, but you got to be patient and it'll be worth it. If you're like a real gamer and you want to see the industry keep going forward and, and, and be presenting new things, awesome things, making the industry become something just completely different, start to evolve like it's always evolved and not just like be stuck in the mud with the 360 and the PS3 and the PS4. And it's like, why the hell did I buy a PS4 then? Why the hell did everybody else buy a PS4 or an Xbox One? Why did Sony, why did Microsoft make, put so much effort, so much money into making new, new hardware? For what? So we could still stay stuck with the same limitations of old gen? Now, this is obviously just going towards consoles. And I'm not even mentioning the Wii U, but the Wii U also has... Um, I've been thinking about the Wii U. I'm like, man, I, I think I'm going to start investing in a, in a, for a Wii U because the Wii U also always has freaking games that I'm like, dude, I want that game. Like the next, the, the next Zelda game, that open world Zelda game, I need that game. What I wanted to mention when it comes to the PC is, um, PC gamers, they know that this is the life that they, that they have. They know about this stuff. This is not new to them. The whole uh, evolving with the time. Because every time a PC game is released, or any game that is for the PC, the first thing a PC gamer will ask, what's the minimum requirements? Why? Because they want to know whether they're going to need to upgrade or not. And if they do, where it's like, oh yeah, dude, you're not even going to be able to play this game on your PC, they're going to start investing because they know that they need to upgrade. It's just something that, that they just know. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to start saving up to get a new whatever. Upgrading every now and then a PC could be like buying a damn console (laughs) every, every freaking year or whatever. So it's not, it's not easy either. But PC uh, gamers know, know this. They're used to that evolution. They're used to that advancement. Um, And that's what console players need to start getting into and We've got it made, dude. Console players have it made because it's not every year, it's not every month that a new console comes out. So PC players have it the worst because, like I said, they have to keep upgrading because games keep getting better and better and better. So they're like, ah, damn it, you know, I need to upgrade this. Or if they're like not willing to get the biggest upgrade, it's way too much and they're like i just upgrade then they'll they'll have to play the game 
on the lower resolution so that they could play it where they're like okay whatever I'll, I'll just lower the resolution console gamers need that type of mentality where they're like okay we need to keep pushing the industry forward what's coming out a new a new console new ps4 if this isn't this isn't another version of the 360 it's not another version of the ps3 it's not like a, oh it's a blue ps3 no it's it's a new system it's new hardware it's advanced hardware this is not old this is not the same as what you have right now you want to get this new thing because that old thing is old and it's not going to be around forever console gamers need to get into that mentality where it's like okay something new is coming out I should start investing in it because what I have is going to be outdated pretty soon if gamers keep wanting uh cross-gen games if they they keep asking for cross-gen games if they keep holding back on buying next generation games developers are going to see uh, a lot of times they're going to feel like they're probably not going to make as many sales as they could have because they're like okay well these a lot of people do not have all next gen consoles yet so let's just make it let's make it cross uh, cross platform cross cross gen cross platform is fine cross gen is what is so it's so limiting on both ends this is a bad circle to be in it's a bad routine it's making gamers become completely like separated because it's like these people want a better experience but these people don't want to leave their comfort zone or they don't think that it's important um at least as a gamer not like a huge deal uh as a gamer to invest in a new console because they're like oh what well whatever you know it's being made cross-platform so i still will be able to play it and not thinking that it's doing the not only the game but the developer the gamers in in, in general and the industry it's doing it all a, a disservice because it's being held back developers are still th th that made me so disappointed when i saw that this game that phantom pain was going to be made cross-gen i was like oh my god seriously this is a 2015 game and it has so much potential and you're making it a cross-gen game 2014 should have been the year of this type of thing and then towards the end of the, the year this type of thing so that it slowly starts getting gamers into the 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 reality of okay this is it. This is what gaming is. It's tr it's starting to push me ahead and not keeping gamers into in that in that comfort zone where they're like, "Oh no, it's cool. It's fine. I still have enough time. Like I still don't have to buy it. I still don't need a reason." I strongly believe that 2015 needs to be the year of uh, next generation exclusives. A lot of these games that I've played, I haven't had a full experience of next gen. It's disappointing, but like I said, there could be a lot of factors. The next generation consoles are still very new, not only for us, but as well for, uh, but as well as developers. Although I know developers had the hardware way before the consoles were released. So whether that's a reason or an excuse, I don't know. But I, I know, I do know that developers are, just by what we've seen um, for games that are coming out in 2015, Developers are starting to get into the groove of next gen because of games like Bar Batman Arkham Knight of The Witcher 3 uh, Uncharted 4 No Man's Sky. I mean all these games you're just it's like oh my god. This looks new. I can't wait to actually start um, Experiencing what next gen really means because 2014 was just it was a, it was a tease so to those of you that have been holding back on next gen, I really, really urge you to start investing whatever you can, even if it's going to take you a while. You have a lot of time to invest in getting a next generation console, even after the, these, the releases of these games. And if they, they can't, if economically where they're like, I seriously can't, like I seriously want to, but I can't, that's totally understandable. And I, 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 I'm sorry that, that if, if that is your case. Um, but you know, don't, don't, don't give up. There's always like freaking birthday bun money. There's always, you know, there, there's always little money that you might get here and there. I mean, freaking 
piggy banks. I used to do this a lot when I was a kid, and I was I would actually be able to buy a lot of things. It ta- it takes a long time, but if you're patient enough, if you're if you're truly like a gamer at heart, where you're like, dude, I really want to see this industry go forward. I really want to see new things. That you'll find a way. That I know the Xbox One is definitely cheaper. I don't know about the PS4, but you can now find them on sales where you're like, ooh, you know, they're a lot cheaper. Um, it's it's worth it. It's seriously worth it um, because it's not only holding you you back from experiencing something new, something awesome. It's also holding back developers. It's holding back the entire the entire industry because games aren't being um, they're not being pushed to what they're capable of now. Uh, they're being held back to what they used to be capable of. It's a waste. It's, it's an absolute waste. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll be reading some. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.